Well, it's been a while, but we're back on track. What's going on, guys? Welcome back to the Animation Station. No one's done to bring in everything animation, including two superheroes that fly on the other side of the world. Oh, sorry. <clears throat> I mean, three superheroes that fly on the other side of the world, because uh, this is the introduction of Rena Rouge to the cast. So, this should be a very interesting, very fun episode. Like, oh man, this episode is... Okay, this episode is kind of split down the middle for me. Because it starts out very painful, dull, and slow, but then it really starts getting good. Now, obviously, this is a very blatant parody of Gremlins. Like, I don't know if they could have made that fact any more obvious, but it is definitely a parody of Gremlins. So, yeah, the Sapatis themselves have a decent design, and I think the Eat and Multiply power is very interesting to say the least but here's my question so hawk moth has no problem akumatizing you know super no not superheroes i'm sorry he has no problem akumatizing little children but he has a problem akumatizing a baby like come on dude just you gotta work on who you pick to be villains man because you suck at it this is also the episode that becomes a bit more substantial, because this is the one where we get to finally see one of these other miraculous in action. You know, aside from the moth, ladybug, and cat. In this case, Brina Rouge, who is Alia in disguise, and she looks really cool. I really like her design. And I do like that they tried to bring back what was one of the worst episodes of season one, and try to make it better. In this case, giving someone who actually deserves the miraculous, well, the miraculous. And it's pretty interesting and pretty unique. And she does really help Ladybug and Cat Noir, and I especially love her interactions with Ladybug. They are, they're just so cool. And then, uh, Cat Noir trying to be smooth and slick with her, like he does with Ladybug, and it fails, <laughs> is funny. But, yeah, like I said, this episode has a very painful slow start. Like, the slow, the start is so, so painful. Like, it was so slow, it was so dull, it was so boring, but as soon as the actual superhero stuff kicks in, it gets better. Well, aside from one part where they decide to use, just use a Sonic X level montage and just have freeze frames instead of actual animated fights. Like, what? why? What, what was the point of that? And then it has a nice ending, and... I'm hoping that this is in the... Well, I know it's not going to be the last time we see uh, Rena Rouge, because I'm pretty sure she is in Season 3, but... Overall, though, it's still a pretty entertaining episode. Um, like I said, I am a little bit mixed on it, because it does have a lot of problems, as I forget to turn, off, turn on my Do Not Disturb once again. But I enjoy Sapatis. It's a It's a good episode. Not great... Because, like I said, the start of this episode is very slow and dull. But once it starts going, it really gets going. And it doesn't stop till the end. So, yeah. A pretty good episode. I'm going to say Final Verdict is a 7 out of 10. And I'm excited to see what uh, superhero ends up joining the cast next. Alright, that's it. That's all I got. Thanks for watching. See you for the next episode review.